Sega challenges you with the ultimate video games. Games that'll blow you away. Like Alex Kidd in Miracle World. And coming soon, Monopoly. Knockout games like Rocky. Gangster Town. A shift into more excitement with the arcade hit Outrun. Only on the Sega system. Sega, the challenge will always be there. Okay, for a start, today's RetroBat 6.1 in Sega Master System setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro content on my channel, just Jamie. That just means that by the time I release a new setup guide, which is almost every day. And if you're into RetroBat at the moment, I've got many systems to cover for RetroBat. It's a bit of ambition on my channel. I've also got a RetroBat playlist, and to date, I've got around 140 setups up guides for retro bat but we're gonna get through them so we're looking at sega master system today and of course there's about three different models of this so what do we need for this we need some games and if you fancy it we also need some bios now you don't necessarily need bios files to run games in this but it's going to prevent a little pop-up in retro bat saying missing bios files bios files are required because sega master system consoles had built-in games and so that's why we need the bios files pretty much but like i said if you don't want to use them you can still play games if you want to use the bios files just to stop that annoying pop-up come up in retrobat these two just here are the bios files that you're going to need so bios in bracket sega master system japan version 2.1 sms and we also got sega master system usa and europe version 1.3 SMS. So that's the BIOS files you need. So let's just put those in place first. So make a copy of those, go to the RetroBat directory, right click on it, open file location, and we're going to just go into the BIOS folder and paste in both of those BIOS files in here. Now you don't need to put these into a folder, they're just going to go loosely like I put them just here. If we just come out of BIOS and then go into the ROMs folder, we're going to find Master System. Here's Master System. Now, for this, I've got some games here, and these are in .sms file extension, just like the BIOS files are. So I'm going to drag and drop these inside. Now, for a simpler life and for Scraper to work a lot easier and quicker, I recommend renaming some of your game files. For example, on Michael Jackson's Moonwalker just here, I've got brackets and an exclamation mark. And so for Shinobi, so show more options, rename, and I'm just going to backspace or delete those unnecessary letters in numbers, just so Scraper, uh, Screen Scraper, can work a lot easier and more efficiently so it can provide us with the best artwork around. So these are now in place in my RetroBat ROMs folder. What I'm going to do is go straight into RetroBat. Okay, so we've got Sega Master System. So if we go inside of here, what we're going to do first is press start button brings up main menu down to scraper and scraper settings i'm going to just make sure image source is set to box 3d and everything looks good to go i'm also going to enable fan art 2 and back and i'm now going to go to scrape now okay scrape and finish update game list to apply changes so just go into the main menu by pressing start button game settings update game list and yes Okie doke, so we now got some artwork and some preview videos, and yes, I've got the horrendous Cyber Shinobi, don't ask why, that's just a part of my collection. What we're going to do is actually open up main menu again, down to updates and downloads, and from here we're going to go to the bezel project. And just here you can download some bezels to go with this, so if we just download Master System, we're just going to wait for this one to download and install. 
Okay, so we don't need to reboot the computer for this bit, but what we are going to do first is actually open up a game to see everything's working in that we don't get that really annoying BIOS pop-up. Because I've just downloaded those bezels for Sega Master System 3, we've now got these really funky side panels rather than boring black. Now the issue is with this, as you can see, a lot of the gameplay image is actually cropped. So we just need to make sure that under advanced system settings, that the game aspect ratio is actually set to config for this. And that will then give us more of a picture so we can actually see the game as well as those bezels on the side. Okay, so as you can see, that's working really well, and we got a full picture now, or at least we can see what's going on rather than being cropped because we're using the bezel project images on the sides there. And that's it for today's RetroBat version 6.1 in Sega Master System setup guide from Windows PC. So if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.